what they don't tell you about old age, growing older. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. Well, as many of you know, I'm pushing 70 years old. And so I would say in the last 10 or 15 years, I have really learned a lot about the aging process, what goes into it, and what changes happen. And so I wanted to talk about what people don't tell you about getting older, okay? Well, getting older, there's a lot of blessings behind it, okay? So I wanna say that first, and I will talk about the blessings as we go on. And yet, I wanna talk about the challenges that happen with old age. You know, often people think that um, they're going to live forever. And often younger people don't even think about immort what is it, mortality. And I think older people begin to understand it so much better and so much clearer as they get older. Because often they see losses. They see losses of maybe older family members. They see losses of friendships. They see losses maybe even of a spouse. It could be losses, you know, of acquaintances. And so they begin to realize that people do pass on at some point, no matter how well they take care of themselves, no matter what they do. And I'm a firm believer in taking care of my body. I'm a firm believer that taking care of your body is going to benefit you as you age. That likely you will need less things fixed and repaired or maybe things not repaired at all. And yet, we can't stop the aging process in the way that we're going to stand still at 25 and not grow older physically than at 25. As we age, things can happen. The older we get, the more prone we are to needing things repaired, fixed, tuned up, um, gone over. Sometimes we can prevent a lot of that or minimize a lot of that by taking care of ourselves. But ultimately, most likely, we are going to deal with those kinds of issues. It's just almost unavoidable, regardless of how much one takes care of themselves. Like I said, often people can live a very healthy life all the way through um, without needing much done. But the odds of things, something needing to be fixed um, is greater as we get older. Number two, the losses. You know, losses can come in any form, and no matter who you are, likely you will experience losses at different levels throughout life the longer you live. Well, as people get older, um, their friendships begin to drop off. Some people die. Um, it could be a spouse. It could be a family member. Um, it could be acquaintances. It could be places that they were used to going to that no longer are in business. There are losses as we get older. Sometimes family members will move away and now we feel abandoned. We're all by ourselves. Our kids moved away, um, our friends moved away, and it's like we have to step back out into the world and create new relationships for ourselves. Um, sometimes financial can change. Sometimes it can be better. Often it is better if people planned ahead and made the right decisions. That is one of the blessings about getting older. When you're younger, you often don't have any money. You're living from paycheck to paycheck. As you get older, you've often become wiser with your money. So that is a blessing. Often, if you've taken care of your health, you're able to stay well and only need any kind of intervention at a minimum. And so there are blessings about getting older. Sometimes we have more freedom to do what we want. We don't have to report to a job every day and go to a job and, you know, and check in. Often, all we have to do is just, uh, you know, live on our own schedule. And that can be a real blessing. Often, we can do more of the things that we love to do and less of the things that we don't want to do as we get older. Now, if one hasn't prepared for older age, sometimes what can happen is people end up um, having to go back to work um, at a minimum wage job when they're 70 or 75 just to make the bills paid. And so, you know, the more prepared we are, the more we take care of ourselves, the more we take care of our finances, the more we make smart decisions, likelier, likelier we are to end up in a far better place as we get older. And so, you know, there are challenges that weren't there when we were younger. 
And that's just a reality of getting older to have the blessing of growing old. Um, so, you know, we may be more dependent as we get older on other people. Um, you know, grandma used to say, you're dependent when you're a baby and you're dependent when you're old. And there can be some element of truth to that, not to the degree of great dependency, but sometimes we lean a little bit more on family members when we're older. And, you know, sometimes fears can come in, the fear of being alone, the fear of being abandoned, the fear of not having enough, the fear of getting sick. Those kind of fears are often very common for older people. And yet the, the beauty of getting older is, like I said, you can do more of what you want if you've prepared and planned out things. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for older people. Like for me, I went back to college. I had the time, I had the ability and I was able to go back to college. And often there are scholarships for people that are older that weren't there for them for when they were younger. And so there are blessings about getting older. And there's also challenges that perhaps we didn't have when we were younger. So I think the reality is some people think that they can avoid everything. And I believe that many things we cannot avoid. Some things we can prepare for, and the more prepared often the better. If we have a great preparation plan in place for when events happen, often we can get through crisis or difficulty or loss a lot easier and or health crises or whatever. If you don't have a plan in place, if you don't have some kind of support system, whether it's financial or relationships or, or whatever, often it can be very challenging and difficult. So growing older, the more we can prepare for growing older, often the better by taking care of our bodies, taking care of our finances, making great decisions, um, minimizing um, losses to the best of our abilities, such as by taking care of ourselves, maybe we're less likely to get sick and we're able to stay healthy longer and more fit and more active. Um, by taking care of our finances, we're able to get through the storms and difficulties of life and, um, and so that we can enjoy this part of life because this part of life is meant to be enjoyed, okay? From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.